Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring Fight to Survive. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this tabletop RPG where you employ your martial arts to survive the mean streets of New Hope City and build a legacy, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about Block and Footwork. Concerning Block, this move is not just the concept of intercepting an incoming strike with a bearing gesture so as to control the incoming direction, but also includes stances and any weight shifts or repositions to avoid harm, even if they involve the fit, so long as they don't have the body changing location on the field. The aim of this move is to render incoming strikes ineffective. When it comes to using block against other moves, block cancels a punch, on the basis that the principles of blocking spend most of their focus on interrupting strikes. When it comes to using block against kick, on the basis that while block is trained to do so, the relationship is not perfect, so block does not reliably moot a kick, since kicks have a lot of weight behind them. Now, when it comes to footwork, any movement or repositioning of the feet necessary to avoid attack is represented by this move. The aim of this move is to render incoming harmful moves ineffective. When employed against other moves, footwork only might outrun grapple, depending on the technique, on the premise of working to keep out of range of infighting with mobility. And footwork avoids all kicks, on the grounds that a kicking character is usually reliant on a single foot for balance, so the quick movements available for footwork can usually avoid an attack along a stable trajectory. And these are just a few examples. This concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about moves as concepts. I think that blocking was purposefully simplified in order to keep the game on a somewhat basic level. That is, if you were to include pairing when it comes to blocking, pairing, making a distinction between both of them, perhaps it would be a bit too complex for someone that is trying to learn the system. Now, when it comes to footwork, I think this is handled perfectly, for the most part. Changing your position according to your opponent's attacks is somewhat of a nuanced matter, so of course it cannot be represented perfectly in the tabletop environment, but in this case, in this particular mechanic, I think it is a great way nonetheless. Thank you for watching this part of the review, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or DriveThruRPG, the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. This has been Abraham L. Jaguar, a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional sessions because I am handling business out of town. But I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. And remember, in tabletop RPGs you are not telling stories about your characters, you are experiencing the game world as your characters. Once again, thank you and see you later.